guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you are new here, hi, how are you doing? My name is Vanessa and I am a working psychic medium. Uh, all my booking information is down below. All my social medias are down below. Please follow me on everything. Hit the subscribe button and put your notifications on. Um, I want to do a little bit of a throwback here. Um, this is a video that I released in, I wanna say August of 2019. And in this video, it is literally my first, first like public reading ever. It is, oh, I, love, I hit my little thing there. Um, it is a reading that I was doing on Rich Lux when I literally first met him, I think that day. I had never watched Rich Lux before. I've never really been, I'm, I'm on YouTube, but I've never really been someone that was watching YouTube. I didn't partake really. There's very few people I knew of. So I just met Rich Lux that day and I was really, I've always been a, a psychic medium. I've always been like this my whole life, but I've never really had a lot of control over it until, you know, later in 2019 after I met uh, Aphrodite. Shout out to Aunt, I love you. Um, so in this reading that I did for Rich, it was very raw, not, I, I didn't even know it was really being recorded until it, it was, we were about halfway into it and then it was being recorded. It wasn't even the whole thing that was recorded. And uh, I've really come so far from that first initial reading. I am able to do and see so many things that I never thought that I would even be able to see and do as far as like past lives and just spirit guides and sometimes every now and then a spirit animal. Um, talking to dead people is something that I've really been able to do for a very long time, but actually now harnessing it and controlling it and elevating my craft, I guess, um, and being able to work and help so many people um, is not anything that I've ever really thought I would be able to do. But I really wanted to show this video again and show where I was then versus where I am now. And uh, I'm just really happy and proud of how far I've come and I can't wait to get even better and help even more people. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play the clip. I'm kind of shook. So you can introduce yourself. And oh God, I don't know what to say. Julia Turner. <laughs> <laughs> You're Vanessa from It's Me, Vanessa that, Dog. That's who I am, yes. I don't know how to explain like, cause it's still kind of like, it's for me, I've always been like this my whole entire life. But in the past, I wanna say, really the past year, it's been kind of like, way more than what it was in the past um but in the past like i want to say six months it's like out of control sometimes so um, you can see when people have someone that's passed or whatever that's like attached to them i can only see it sometimes if they're more in control than i am i you could have someone that's passed who does not want to be seen does not want to be acknowledged doesn't want to be put out there and whether I think more that they have more control than I than I do or someone like me does because if they don't want me to be seen then I'm not going to see them right um but anytime I really get it it's things that like people they want they're telling me what to tell them yeah. so like in, you're so what in do you see with rich yeah so, what so do you see? Go ahead. with rich it's not something I necessarily <laughs> see because it's kind of there, there's like all these different like categories of how I can get it. So you, it's just kind of like a, I don't know how to explain it. I can feel the male energy around you. Mm -hmm. And then once, it's like once I can feel it, they know that I know that they know. So we both, we both get it. Okay. And then for yours specifically, that male energy, it's kind of like they take all their thoughts and emotions and and feelings and it doesn't have to just be like one thought like feeling anger or anything like that it could be like a sentence or it's it's so hard to explain but yeah. it's like it's like they take it all and put it in a ball and they go here you process it and i'm just like uh okay so, okay so what did you process okay so for you you have a male energy around you and this is someone that is i want to say above you so uh an older 
mm -hmm. older generation. So this energy wants me to explain to you that they, they're okay now and that things between you and him might have been maybe a lot of things left unsaid, a lot of things that should have been said that weren't. There was a lot of hurt feelings there. There's a lot of, um, I don't want to necessarily call it misunderstanding because I think both sides were understood, but it was, you guys didn't agree. Um, and you guys always didn't see eye to eye. So I don't want to say that there was animosity there because there was always love there, but there was, you know what? I'm just, I'm not going to deal with him. I don't agree. I don't agree with what he's doing. So that's kind of my interpretation because I, if from with yours, this energy is kind of like more muted and he's leaving a lot up to my interpretation. So I'm, I'm trying to interpret it with the best words I can. Um, and when an energy is like that, it kind of makes me feel like, because this energy is strong, but his words are really reserved. So it kind of makes me feel like he was probably like that when they were living. Um, and then also with all the feelings, his, his ending part is, is that don't worry about it. It's okay. It's that was then this is now you're loved. And that's what they want you to know. And they're still around you. Um, you know, they're, it, yeah, I always felt that. Either. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're still around you that, that they just want you to know that it's okay now. Like they just don't want you to be bothered by it anymore. They still think it affects you. Or they see that it affects you. Just because I, I never said goodbye, you know? Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I want to talk. I can't talk. <laughs> Don't cry. You know, like, Don't cry. We didn't, we didn't always get along. Yeah. But we got along. But we didn't always get along. Yeah. So you guys loved each other, but you didn't see eye to eye. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, I guess the last week, I didn't really talk to him that much. Mm -hmm. He was there in the same house, but he was too busy. And as soon as he passed away, that's when, like, doors just opened up. And YouTube yeah. just took off. It was, well, I, it was like, and I always felt like there was a watching over me, in a sense. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. I think that, though, a lot of times, and something that people don't really realize, is that they can hear you. I've had many times where I was in what I would like to call um, a lulled or dream state. And for me, I get a lot of things when I'm in between falling asleep and asleep. And I, it's like, you know, you have different levels of sleep. So I'm starting to drift. And as I start to drift, I hear things, I hear people, I hear thoughts, I hear, and it could just be, I think a lot of times too, there's entities and spirits and I call them passerbys. And they're everywhere all the time. And sometimes I can see them. Sometimes I can hear them. Sometimes I can feel them. But then when I try to sleep and I think I'm vulnerable, I guess, because I'm, I'm just not, like, stand off to it, I can hear it. And then there's been times where my own mother comes through. And I'll, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but a lot of times, like, I'll still talk to my mom. I'll be driving in the car. I threaten my mom beyond the grave every day. When I drop my son off at school and I'm like, Mom, bitch, you better watch my kid. Make sure no one hurts my baby. Like, I will go to jail and smile on my mugshot. I don't care, you know? So I still, I still talk to my mom. And when I'm in those kind of states, my mom has said things to me that I had just talked to her about. So, but I know that I'm clear and conscious awake. I can move. I can, I have good thought process when I do it. And that's how I've tried to learn to control it because I can't I can't I can't control what I hear what I see what I feel so I'm trying to learn to control it better myself do you get overwhelmed by the energy sometimes I get overwhelmed by it but I've I've had instances where I've had things that are dark attach themselves to me Ugh. um I've had them wake me up in the middle of the night and I've had one instance where um it woke me up in the middle of the night and I was clear as day awake <laughs> I could move I can toss a turn I could feel my husband next to me I couldn't open up my eyes to save my life. I had to fight and fight and fight. It's like it's like they, they were just shut. And I could feel my body turning and it wasn't me. It's was like I was turning this way in my bed. And um, 
it's funny. My my husband actually woke up. Well, when I could finally open up my eyes, I saw this dark shadow in the corner of my room where my husband was sleeping, and I saw it around his shoulder and his face area. What's that? Someone, That's creepy. Like, why is that? <laughs> it's just someone right. driving, it's probably. The street washer, I think. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, in the middle of the night. Like, you know, it's it's random. Spirit. Yeah. Well, I guess he doesn't <laughs> have traffic in his way. Yeah. So, did your dad pass suddenly? <laughs> no. no. Well, no. It, it, suddenly, like, we knew he was going to pass, just that never knew I when. could tell you no. I just didn't know. We just didn't know when. I answered for him, like, no, because yeah. I could yeah. tell. We didn't know he when. He knew. Yeah. Yeah, he knew. The, it's like, it's like they take their thoughts and their feelings and, and you know, it's like they're sometimes memories. I've seen things and they're just like, they just like shove it in your body and it's in like your brain. It's like a download. Yeah, it's like they plug into me sometimes. But yeah. so that dark shadow I saw in the corner of my room, and my room's pitch black, you know, but I could see this. I could feel it. I could see it. Yeah. And it just shot upwards to the window. And my husband woke up. He goes, Why are you touching my face? Oh. I'm like, Honey, it's not me. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. And um, he asked me about it the next day, and I told him, you know. Yeah. But, um, so I can't really. Creeped him out. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Like, what sucks for me is like, I've been lately been past two years been like life changing so when I go places and I see things like I wish my dad was there to see it with they me they do because I would fly them out yeah and it's kind of like um, a blessing and a curse mm-hmm. because you're experiencing all these things but you can't have them with you but see they're not physically with you but they are with you because if he wasn't I wouldn't you know mm-hmm. so maybe that's a lot of times I think I get the most things when I'm around certain people and I can see it and I can hear it. And I think that when someone like me that can relay the message comes across, they seize that opportunity to validate to you that they're still there. That's what they want to do because they want you to know that they're still there. They can't physically tell you. You can't hear them. So, But that's their way of telling you that it's okay, I'm okay, and I'm here. Um, and trust and believe, they, you can talk to them all day long. You might feel a little silly the first few times that you do it. But, you know, you could be like, hey, Dad, you know, I just did this. Or, hey, you know, whoever, I just did such and such. And, you know, they're very much in tune to what you do and, you know, the life that you live still. And they're still around. And, you know, and, and that helps, too, I think, to validate them that, that they're not forgotten and they're not left behind, you know. So he's seeing everything. Yeah. They, trust me, if he could reach out and hug you and tell you, he would tell you himself, but he can't. I think Carmen knows that because she's very peaceful. Yeah. I think, um, I don't think you'll be able to answer this question, but I think it's something a lot of people would want to know mm-hmm. is can you tell if that person made it to heaven or hell? You know? That's kind of hard, right? I, can, I cannot tell you definitively yeah. if someone and where, where they are or what they're doing. But I can tell you with how he comes sorry the how he comes through is there's just there's such a sense of peace there i have run into people and like passerbys like i don't know what to call them other than passerbys so i have run into passerbys that just you could feel darkness on them and dread and sometimes i think though that that's um residual in the life that they lived but sometimes you can sense darkness on people um yeah. And I don't I don't want to call it like heaven or hell or evil, but you could just feel that it's just not someone that's at peace, but it goes beyond um, a spirit that's like wants to move on and they can't. It's not that kind of feeling. It's yeah. a dark feeling. Um, but I can't really tell you. I've had experiences like with my own mom, like after she passed, I don't really <clears throat> talk about it too often, but I'll tell you since you kind of asked I had a dream after my mom passed away that we were in our own, we were in our old house and I was going through our house and there was like these mirrors everywhere, like this mercury glass mirrors, like just all in the house. You know the house I used to live in when I was younger? Mm -hmm. And I could see this dark shadow moving all through these mirrors and every time I saw it, they would leave and then brightness would show up. Um... And I was in my old room, and I opened up my closet, and as soon as I opened up my closet, 
I saw this dark angel of death. And it wasn't light. It wasn't bright. It didn't look happy. But it was like this beautiful dark angel of death. <clears throat> and it had these most detailed, beautiful feathered wings that you could ever explain. And as soon as I saw my mom and I looked at her, this death angel just kind of like put his arms around her and just kind of smiled at me and just went up. And to me, I think that was my way of seeing where she was going. And lately, I have seen in the past, when I've been in that kind of realm of being relaxed and trying to concentrate on it, I have seen people go up and I've seen people go down. And personally, I think that I can kind of tell sometimes depending on the person, but I can't really definitively tell. I, I can't, I, just, I wish I could, but I could tell you that, you know, your father comes across as being just so at peace. Like, like he's like, he wants to tell you in his own way because he's, he's calm and reserved. And that's why I don't think he's like, hey, tell him, tell him, tell him. Yeah. He's like, here, you yeah. let him know, you know? I think people like you are important because some people can't feel, and so you feel for them in a way. Yeah, so. and that's kind of like what it is. I'm just, a, I'm just a telephone, you know, for letting them know or for letting you know. Your mom told me that your dad was just like a very quiet person. That's <laughs> that he oh. just was a man of few words, like all the way around. Yeah. See, I don't know anything. Yeah. I, this is my first time yeah. meeting Rich today. <laughs> I've never talked to him. I've never anything. You know anything about my channel? Yeah. No, I've only seen like a couple little collabs when you guys were live with Nick and I'd go in there and just say hi and then other than that like I I mean this is a true testimonial. I don't know. Well, I don't know you, you so really. Much. You're welcome. I don't How can you know. they find you anyone that wants to connect with you? Um you can go on my Twitter, it's me Vanessa Duh, or my YouTube, it's me Vanessa Duh. I don't really talk about this kind of stuff too much, but I mean I could, but you, I just kinda see, keep it private. Like, can you can you feel this energy for people that you aren't sharing space with? Like, do you... Oh, I'll see random strangers all the time. But I mean, like, let's say let's say you're talking to someone on the phone that you've never talked to before. You're talking to... You've called a Delta Airlines, right? <laughs> to change yeah. your flight because oh my of a hurricane. Gosh. And you talk to the lady. Like, can you I've sense told, if there's people I've told, like, attached to that? I've told Sherry. Sherry could tell you. I don't know if you guys know Sherry. Do they yeah, know Sherry? Sherry? Yeah, Sherry. They you know Sherry? Do you do over the phone, too, when you talk to them? Yeah, I've talked to her about things that are happening in her house. I'm like, hey, by the way, is... um, And she goes, how in the world did you know that? And I'm like... I, yeah. You know, I guess it, most of the time for me, it's like if people, if I spend a little bit of time talking to you or being around you, but lately it's just kind of like really ramped up to the point oh, where, wrong, yeah. yeah, where I'll see like random strangers. I can, one of my biggest things that actually, I was with Nick and Dee, we were having dinner and I saw someone pass by me. I can see death on people. Do you <laughs> see like spirits on people's backs and stuff like that? No, it's not like that. It's like. Most of the time, it's more of a feeling than a physical seeing uh, something, you know. Um, but I can. It's just kind of like the Holy Spirit, where like it's uh, it, you can hear it in your in your mind. You it's know, it's there. You. It's kind of like, like it's kind of like yeah. faith or Santa Claus. You know, it's there. Well, for me, yeah. I believe so. but <laughs> it's like yeah. it's like you know it's there, but you know you just can't see it. Like like that's what I was explaining to you is like the feeling of love. You know it's there. You can feel it, but it's right. not something tangible that you can that you can feel, that you can reach out and grab. It's right. just the feeling that's that's there. Okay, I don't want to be over too long, but thank you. You're welcome. Please check her out, guys. I put her links down below. Bye. Bye.